It's Ann Wilmus Photography, and I am back with the second part of the Lightroom video where I edited this baby girl from straight out of camera in Lightroom. Um, if you have not watched that, make sure you go back and do it. I'll put a link below in this description so you don't miss it. So this is, I have the baby in Photoshop now, and this is what it looked like once we made all of our Lightroom adjustments. So now I will show you how I give her the final polish and make the final product in Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is fix the backdrop here. Um, not totally yet, but we're just gonna paint it on um, the correct color. So I'm going to get my color picker tool, which is this little eyedropper over here. And I'm going to select just one of these creamy white colors and then just get my brush and paint it in. Um, and that'll do for now. We'll fix more of it in a later step. And then I painted that on at 100% opacity. Um, you could reduce the opacity down to about 20% and go over it a little bit more over here but like I said we'll come back to that that's just giving us a nice jumping off point um, another thing you can do is check your crop um, at this point I do think that I'm gonna crop it a little bit more I like my crop to just stay in the original ratio some photographers like to do a 5 by 7 crop or something else um, I like to keep it just how it was which is a 2 to 3 ratio when you shoot straight out of camera all right, so just to center her up a little tiny bit more is all I'm doing there. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in. Um, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to fix her skin. Um, there's three ways that photographers typically, newborn photographers I should say, um, fix a baby's skin if you wanna use in action. Um, and those actions are portraiture, um, which is an Imaginomic plugin. Um, another way that I'm going to use, it's called Skin All-in-One, um, and that is by uh, um, Hello Little Props and Friends, I think. I'll have to look that up, and I will link that in the description also. Um, and then another one is called Skin Deep Blotch um, Medium, which is another action set by Totally Rad, I believe. I might be wrong on the names of those, but I will link them in the description. Um, the one that I've been liking lately the most is the Skin All-in-One Normal. Um, so I'm going to run that action, and it is a little bit slow um, on my computer. I need to get a new computer. Um, so bear with me here for a second while that runs. What it does is it gives you the option to just paint it on the areas where you need it um, and it just kind of smooths and blurs together the shadows and highlights um, of a, her face without losing too much tex texture. All right, so it ran here. We're down here on this bottom layer called Skin Fixer. So I'm gonna get my brush tool. I'm gonna put it on 100% opacity but then I'm gonna reduce the opacity of the layer later. Now, this video assumes that you have a pretty good understanding of Photoshop already. Um, if you don't, there's tons of YouTube videos out there um, that can teach you, or if you have a specific one that you'd like me to address, leave a comment and I can make a video on that. So I'm gonna just paint that bottom layer on her skin and you can see it's pretty strong right now, but like I said, don't worry, we'll reduce that. Um, one tip that if you can't exactly see what's happening with your, where you're painting, you can press the bracket key and it'll show up, um, in red. Red is where I haven't put it on her skin yet and, um, painting, um, where I want it and I'm avoiding any areas of her face that have a detail. So I don't want to hit her eyebrows, her eyelashes, her nostrils, her little lips, um, anything like that. And I don't want to go into her hairline. All right, so I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm just going to go down on her body a little bit. And I'll zoom in. And go over her eye a little bit more. Okay. Um, so I like to reduce that once I painted that on and see 
see what it looks like. I like to usually take it down to about 70. Um, some babies more, some babies less. And all you can see there, like her skin all has texture still. It just kind of blurred out some of that redness, kind of blended together some of the highlight areas and shadow areas. Um, but it kept all the detail that we wanted. Um, so <clears throat> there's a couple other layers or um, steps to this action. Um, blemish balm, that's something that kind of, it just gives it a little bit more smoothing. Um, sometimes I'll just do that just on the highlights, like her nose. Um, and then there's this extra red remover. Um, and we'll see what that looks like on her arm, since that's a little bit redder. Sometimes this is a little bit too strong for me. So we're just going to try it. And I'm at just 20% opacity here. I'll maybe go on her nose too. I have another action that I run that gets the red out. Um, and then this also has an add clarity, which you can take over the eyelashes if you want. Um, I'm not going to do that. I um, another step that I will sharpen with. But anyway, so that gives you a good jumping off point where the image is already starting to look real clean. All right, so I'm going to flatten that. The next step that I'm going to do is go in with the, let's see what exactly what it's called. Uh, I believe it's the spot healing brush tool and just get all the little flakes that that action didn't get off of her face. So I'm gonna zoom way in here. And all I am doing once I have that tool selected um, is just clicking on the little flakes that I want off of her skin. And you gotta be careful a little bit with this that you do not hit um, any detail areas because sometimes it's it's pretty smart and it does a good job but sometimes it does mess things up so every once in a while if there's a flake that's on like um, an eyelash or something you might have to use the clone stool tool instead all right let's just make sure there's nothing in her hair sometimes I have to check baby's hair um, because I accidentally get fuzzes in it as I'm shooting um, let's make sure there's no distracting fuzz down here Okay, and that looks good. So that, she's looking pretty good already. I have another action, it's called, for me, it's called Beanbag 5 July, um, just cause that's when I kind of redid it. I had someone make it for me that combined all of the steps that I used into one action. Um, so that's something, uh, if you know how to make actions, that's a great time saver for you. So I'm gonna run that. And the first thing it's asking me to do is um, pick a background color, cause it's gonna help kind of smooth the blanket even further. So I'm going to do that and let the action run. All right, there we go. So the first thing that my action did was it gave an overall subtle sharpness to the image. I have it only at 30%. I don't want my image to look too crispy. The second layer is the selective sharpen layer. As you can see with this black box, that means you can't see anything that it did. So I'm gonna use my white brush at 100% opacity and paint it on just where I want it, which with newborns, for me, I like to do the eyelashes and that is it. Um, this next layer that I have is called background copy and it's misnamed. What that is is just that portraiture layer that I was talking about, which is another skin smoother. Um, so it's on right now, and then this is it off. Um, I'm going to reduce the opacity of it a little bit because her skin is already like really good looking and I'm going to just make sure it only touches the skin. That's not, um, a detail part of her face. So I'm currently brushing it off her eyelashes, lips, eyebrows, hair, nose tip. Um, this is probably a little bit overkill, so you can decide if you want to, it doesn't make much difference. You can decide if you want to take the time for that on your own pictures. Okay, even backdrop, this is the one where it just smoothed my backdrop a little bit and blended it for me. So I'm going to take my big black brush and I'm going to brush that off of baby. Make sure she doesn't have any of that solid color layer on her. It's a solid color layer. Um, with a little bit of noise reduction and a Gaussian blur as well to kind of help you smooth any banding that may occur in your images. I'm just checking to make sure I got it all off of her and I did. So it, see how it just kind of blended a little bit, make everything look a little bit smoother there. 
Um, now this next one is no red skin. So I'm gonna use that um, at a 20% opacity just on the more red areas of her. Like that arm, that foot. And parts of babies are supposed to be a little bit more red, so you don't wanna have her look totally even, right? Because then it would look like she's not real. But I also, I don't want her to look like distractingly red. Um, so it's kind of a balance. The next layer is no purple skin. Um, and you can see her hands are a little bit purple, this area of her face. It, this is just helping her get kind of an even glow. All right, um, warmer, I'm not gonna do that. She's warm enough. These are all just skin fixers that I have built into one action. Um, the next one that I'm gonna touch is lips. So I'm gonna just, again, at 20% opacity, very light, touch her lips up with that just give them a little bit more rosiness and I'll do the same on her cheeks and I'm gonna reduce that because it went a little bit too much okay um, and then these next layers it's just a contrast and I'm you can decide if you want extra contrast here or not um, I'm gonna take them off and then this last one that I have um, it just checks to make sure again I didn't blow out any highlights in the editing process um, you can see this area of her bow up here is a little bit blown out. I'm not worried about that because it's not her face. Um, I can try something to reduce the highlights there. And let's see if that worked. We're going to paint it just on that area to bring a little bit of the detail back. Okay. Um, the next step is I'm going to zoom in again and make sure everything looks good. See when I sharpened her eyelashes they look this got a little bit crunchy looking because she did have a little bit of sleepiness there. Um, so I'm just clicking the spot healing brush tool to make sure that gets away. All right, she's looking good to me. Still a little bit dark, but we're gonna do two more things um, to get the final product. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do, it's called Muted. It's an action from Erin Toll Photography and she has a nice set this is the one that i like the best um on my images it just gives kind of like a rosy kind of pinkish warmish glow um and i usually run it at about 50 percent opacity but we're gonna see what it looks like here all right that looks see how it did that there kind of brought up the shadows a little bit and just gave it a glow i love that um, so I'm going to leave it at that opacity. I like the way that it looked. Um, I'll flatten it. And the last thing I'm going to do is do one final, um, exposure check with a curves layer and just see if I need to brighten her up at all or if she's good. All right. So I just have an action already set that it ran it at that certain brightness, um, which automatically looks too bright to me. So I'm going to reduce it down to where I think it looks good with my eyeballs. But then I'm gonna check and make sure I didn't blow a highlight out. I already have this built into my action. It's a highlight check and I did. Her nose is too bright now. So we can bring it all the way down and it's still showing a little bit of overexposure. So I'm gonna just fix the highlights there and I'm gonna run that action, brighten her one more time and I will paint it off of her, just her nose if I need to. But it looks good now. Um, it fixed it and that looks perfect to me. She's perfectly exposed. Her skin is creamy. Um, it's the right color. The texture is there. She's nice and centered. The blanket looks all good. So here is our final image and let's go and look what we started with when we brought it in from Lightroom. So that's where we started with. Um, it looked good, but it needed the polish. And here is the polish. And that's it. Um, I hope you find this useful. I will put the links in the description that I said I would. If you have um, questions, I know I went through a lot and I went through it pretty fast. Feel free to comment and like and subscribe for more. Thank you.